I forgot to mention something in my usual long one take videos. Um, and that is yesterday I got a phone call from a guy who said uh, his friend has passed away and unfortunately isn't able to build a sling kit. He's got an entire sling kit unopened in the box, including engine prop, firewall forward, uh, airframe kits, and even upholstery. Uh, so they're located in Colorado. If you're interested in getting a sling kit and, uh, you know, want it now instead of waiting a year for the lead time to get it, um, this is a great option for you. So shoot me an email and, and we'll go from there and I can put you guys in touch and see if we can make something work out for this guy. Uh, I'll leave my email in the description. Uh, in addition to that, I've got a, uh, a high wing kit on order. I think I've probably mentioned it in previous videos and uh, it's finally about to ship. So I'm really excited. Uh, I did jump in really, really early into the ordering of that high wing kit. Um, so I'm definitely excited for what's to come there. And of course I'll film, uh, you know, updates on the build as that progresses. And there's a lot of mystery surrounding that plane still. So it'll be exciting to see how it comes together. Um, but anyway, now for the uh, regular video. So today is Saturday, May 21st, and um, I've got a couple things to talk about with the slings, but mostly uh, it's kind of back to my roots of doing my build log on YouTube. So uh, I know that Kit Fox might not be as new and exciting as the TSI was. The uh, There's lots of YouTube videos and build logs already on YouTube from uh, Kit Fox builders, but you know, I'm required just like all of us to do the uh, um, build log and so that's what I'm doing right now but before I really get into that uh, I've got a couple things about the sling really one main thing um, I've got two slings in here right now being built and uh, third one's going to be on its way here pretty soon which of course will displace my kit fox build which is why I'm trying to put a little time into it on Saturdays and things and evenings um, the main thing I wanted to talk about as far as the slings go are these uh, squeezed rivets instead of pulling the rivets on the trailing edge of the wing here. Um, it just gives a really nice low profile on the back side compared to uh, what you get with the uh, pop rivets back there. Um, so people with completed slings, um, <laughs> like myself, might... Uh, mentioned that you got a, the backside of these rivets will scrape on your flaps when they're fully retracted. So by squeezing them like this, uh, it kind of makes a much lower profile and there's no chance that the flaps ever scratch the, the uh, barrels of those, the backside of those rivets. So aside from that, the only other real bit build tip that I've recently discovered is uh, I love these little uh, roller cart trays. It's super handy to keep all of your uh, stuff on and you can kind of walk it around the plane as you're working on it. I now have one of these at every, <coughs> excuse me, build station. So, eh, take it for what it's worth. But uh, anyway, I guess I gotta do the build log stuff for the Kit Fox. Um, we'll start front to back. I do have some exciting stuff going on with this build as well, um, but I'm not gonna share it just yet. Um, I gotta wait until the time is right. So unfortunately, this video is gonna be a little drier, a little bit less exciting than usual, but um, something I do like about the Kit Fox is its simplicity. There's a lot less parts than the sling. Um, the tools required, there's a lot less specialty tools that you will need um, for this build, but so I've been kind of putting in time on, like I said, weekends and, and evenings and, uh, getting this done. And I realized I've kind of gotten a lot of steps out of the way and not done any build lug. So we'll do front to back here. So I got the rudder pedals installed. Um, the only real thing to watch out for when you're doing the rudder pedals is it's a little tricky to get the, uh, plastic bushing. It's kind of like that uh, vesconite material that Sling uses for the uh, control bushings. It goes into the steel tube there and that's actually your, your pivot point. 
Um, getting that kind of sanded down and fitting right into that steel so that you get a nice smooth uh, travel on your rudder pedal. It takes a little time and, and also getting everything perfectly aligned straight so that there's no kind of binding in them, um, but it's not too bad. Uh, the next thing is these little uh, steel uh, retaining straps around the uh, rudder cable pulleys. Uh, need to be real tight and also uh, nicely, uh, perfectly aligned with uh, the bolt on each side. And it takes a little bit of time to get that quite right, but uh, got through it. Uh, the next thing is uh, the center console. Honestly, all this stuff just goes together so easy. Um, if you are going to build a kit, Fox, I highly recommend getting the prefab kit. Uh, it'll come with all of these things uh, notched out for you. Otherwise, they're going to give you some basically chunks of angle aluminum stock, and you got to cut your own notches and uh, get it to get that smooth throw um, perfectly. And even with the tools I've got here, I don't know that I would really want to go that route. So, little little tip for Kit Fox builders. Also, all of these blocks will come as just a U channel aluminum but if you get the prefab kit it's all milled out and, and pre-drilled and everything so it's a lot easier to put it together um, yeah so then you fit up your your floor panels and uh, the controls are really easy to install it's basically just bolting everything in um, for the elevator and the flapper ons and uh, pretty clever setup the way they do it with the flaperons kind of, um, you know, it basically droops your entire aileron, turns it into flaps and ailerons. It's really clever for this type of aircraft. But anyway, got the header tank. I love this. Um, I really, I kind of wish that Sling had space for a header tank for those, those tanks to feed into. Uh, it's, it seems like it'd be easier to make sure that you're feeding the uh, fuel to the engine at all times and in, in, in greatest quantity as possible but for the low wing it probably doesn't matter for the high wing I believe they do have a header tank in there so that's exciting to see anyway the avi uh, avionics cable trays all that stuff's in uh, super quick and easy uh, one little tip here is they give you these trays and ask you to um, I saw it in uh, a trip a tip that a friend gave me was drill some small holes eighth inch holes uh, where it's going to meet the crossbars and then when you put the high saw down and place the tray the high saw kind of squeezes up and you just tap it down and it kind of mushrooms over it almost makes like a like a rivet but it's made out of glue so that's really helpful and you can really just you know put a put a good good bit of force on there without having it rip off but uh yeah so got the door door frames and the quarter windows in here uh bonded and dry on this side this side i just put the uh, high sole on today so it's all going to set up overnight and uh this is kind of one of the more finicky steps that i've gotten through so far uh, it takes a lot of time to really make sure that you cut everything so it's going to fit together nicely <clears throat> and then all these overlaps and then uh, the next step here is going to be to kind of body fill this out so you can't see the uh, the seams through the fabric um, yeah then the same thing all the way up around the quarter window here yeah and then pretty much from there it just skips all the way to the tail where all the ribs are installed. Um, I'm bonding on the, uh, the fiberglass tail cap right now. That's another step. There's a lot of, you know, the, the Kit Fox build is so different from the sling build. It's a lot of uh, um, sanding, a lot of body work, a lot of, uh, you know, gluing. So <clears throat> it's kind of been pretty fun learning a new technique and all of that. Um, But yeah, so just different different styles of builds. It's really interesting to kind of learn how all this stuff, you know, works. And, you know, this is kind of how 
planes were built originally, and so it's kind of the, you know. I got the tail done, and that's all been rigged and ready to go. So now the next step is going to be uh, put the, the caps on the ends of the tail, sand it down so it looks right. Same thing with the, the uh, uh, vertical stabilizer and the rudder. Uh, basically, you just put a balsa cap up on the top here and here with the rudder mounted and then you just sand it out so it kind of has a nice smooth rounded over top and uh so yeah that's pretty much it and uh i think yeah i think that's pretty much the whole update for now so have a good weekend everybody and also stay tuned for more sling updates when we get to the later stage of the build uh, I've certainly got some very exciting things to uh, show for that later on. So have a good weekend, everybody.